therapeutic or recombinant protein expression. Recombinant proteins are proteins that are encoded by the recombinant DNA cloned in a vector for gene expression. Therapeutic proteins are the proteins whose genes are engineered in the laboratory for pharmaceutical use. So any recombinant protein which has pharmaceutical use can be classified as therapeutic protein. Let's look into the significance of therapeutic protein or protein therapy. It's highly specific. They have minimum side effects. They have diversity of functional groups. They can replace the chemical drugs. They have fast clinical development or and approval process. And they are less likely to induce immune response. Process of therapeutic or recombinant protein expression in mammalian cell lines. The process begins with our gene of interest which we want to express in the cell line. We need a mammalian expression vector and the cell line in which we will express our protein. So the first step is the insertion of the gene of interest in the expression vector and we will generate recombinant expression vector by this method. This recombinant expression vector will then be transfected into the cell line. The cells will be selected for the antibiotic resistance which is present on the recombinant vector. So the selected cells will then be processed for single cell cloning. The single cell clones will then be processed, processed for initial clone evaluation and expansion of selected clones. So we will move from 96 well plate to 6 well plate. Then we will again go through the process of clone evaluation and expansion and the cells which will be selected during this process will be grown in the cell culture flask. So what we are doing in the clone evaluation and expansion process is actually we are checking the antibiotic resistance to make sure that the cells we are selecting contain the recombinant vector. And also we are checking the expression of our gene of interest. The final clones will then be processed for cell banking. Cell banking is a process in which we store our cells for future use at minus 80 degrees centigrade. The process involves the snap freezing of our cells cultures in liquid nitrogen and then they are moved to long term storage at minus 90 or minus 80 and we will then proceed for large scale expansion and optimization in which we will be growing our cultures in the bioreactor since we need a large scale production of our protein.